Hey, I'm back, finally, with another Poke Waifu video. That name still makes me cringe, but I don't know if I can really call them Gajinkas since they're all ladies. This time, it's the Squirtle line, and these gotta be, like, my favorite set of designs for starters out of the, the original Gen ones. So for Squirtle, I had a little bit of trouble figuring out the pose, but I got it eventually. The bathing suit, I put yellow like the shell, and then the, it isn't colored in yet, but like the open skirt thing is going to be white on the outside and brown on the inside, so also like the shell, but, but inverted, of course. I gave her like fuzzy leg warmers, like 90s style, because I think they're cool, and one on her arm, but the other one has big chunky jewelry. Because I think that's cool. And that's also something I associate with the 90s. Then her hair is green for no particular reason. I thought it went well and it looked nice. I gave her a bow and back. Also, again, just because I thought it looked nice. And that's basically my rule of thumb for deciding whether something goes in the design. And little gems on the straps of the bathing suit. I keep on wanting to say bikini, but I know that's a different style. That are the same color as Squirtle's eyes. So they look like they're kind of staring at you now that I look at it again. But that's it. Now you get to hear my middle evolution rant that I talked about earlier. And why War Turtle is the best middle evo of all. So, basically, this is a concept I kind of came up with, but, like, ever since I've seen a YouTuber I like, Mr. One-Ups, who does funny Pokemon ranking videos, he's he expressed a similar idea that a lot of the middle evolutions just kind of look like what you'd get on an Animorphs cover if the baby, the original version, was the human, and then the final Evo was the animal they're turning into, like purely just a transitional stage instead of an original concept, which is why I like War Turtle, because it isn't just like half a gun on there, it's its own design and concept separate from what Squirtle or Blastoise is, and also is super cute. And it just is appealing to look at. It also serves as, you know, its purpose still as being a good transition from Squirtle to Blastoise. Since Squirtle is just kind of a normal turtle that happens to be blue. And Blastoise is a fucking massive beast with guns mounted in its shell and cat ears. So having a blue oddly fluffy turtle for the middle one which is like a kind of fantastical concept but still it's still just a weird turtle is a good middle area for that so you get the transition into Blastoise pretty naturally that's also why I really don't like Charmeleon because it looks literally just what you get in between Charmander and Charizard even down to the color, which is bad. You know, it's growing the horn that Charizard had before they started phasing it out. It's getting the bigger body and proportions, but like only slightly there. It sucks. Anyway, actually talking about this design, I just drew stuff I thought was pretty. You know, the patterns on her dress I thought were cool. The socks are supposed to be like the shell. All that good stuff. Now, for the Blastoise design, I kind of have this with a lot of the three-stage evolutions where, like, the first stage is super developed and honestly usually a little more grown-up looking in the Gajinka, Waifu, whatever design than the final stage. My original pose, I was going for, like, a dancer kind of concept here, but it didn't really work with the arms, so I ended up tucking one like behind the back and making it into a waving, just a waving person, yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of a schoolgirl now. I originally had the bands on the legs like separate 
standing out from the rest of the leg. But I that didn't look good, and I have a real problem with tangent lines, and I was going to get way too many if I kept it like that. So I smoothed them back into the leg. She's like, you know, a cute face mask schoolgirl outfit. She's got cat ears, because, well, I knew so many kids in, like, elementary and middle school who'd wear cat ears to school every day, but also because Blastoise has them, and they're, like, one of my favorite parts of his design, if I'm going to be honest. Then she's got a big, bulky backpack that's sort of like the shell, and I kind of tried to include the cannon thing with the loop on the backpack, but it didn't end up looking very good. You can't tell it's there a lot. Then the belly color is the main color of her outfit. There's some black detailing, which isn't really from anything. I just thought it wouldn't be added additive to the design. I gave her big cuffs because honestly, that's my go-to to give big wrist cuffs when I don't really have an idea strong idea of what to add and her earring that's like originally I had two and they were both shoulder mounted but it didn't really end up working I felt like it overcomplicated the design I think I might have intended them to be cameras in the beginning but that's all for today like comment subscribe and I'll see you next year I guess